Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. So Resident Evil Village is finally out and it runs amazingly on Apple Silicon Max. However, the most disappointing thing about this release has nothing to do with the game or how it runs, but it's actually about the store that it's released on. So a lot of people were expecting or at least hoping for the Apple Silicon Mac port of this game to be released on Steam. However, it transpired that this would be an exclusive release for the dreaded Mac App Store. And not only that, the Mac version would also come out at a higher price point and without the Winter's Expansion DLC. So today I'm going to be talking about what's generally better to buy Mac games on Steam and I'm also going to tell you why you should be buying Resident Evil from the Mac App Store. So make sure to watch until the end to find out why. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, Steam is the most popular PC gaming store. The vast majority of Windows games are released on the Steam platform, and it is also home to thousands of Mac games as well. If a game gets a Mac port, then chances are it's gonna be released on Steam. And one of the best things about buying a game on Steam is the fact that we get access to constant Steam sales. Every summer and every winter, there are two week Steam sales where virtually the entire catalog of Steam games gets a huge discount. And not only that, there are plenty of other promotion periods too, with free to play events, mini sales and giveaways too. And unfortunately this is something that the Mac App Store simply lacks. Discounts on games are far less frequent and as far as I know there's no coordinated sale time. Furthermore we have pricing. So on the Mac App Store Resident Evil Village was being sold for $34.99. But to add insult to injury, at the very same time it was being sold on sale on Steam for $24.74. And even if we ignore the Steam discount, the full price on Steam is actually £2 less than the Mac App Store version. Furthermore, Steam games can be even cheaper because Steam allows third-party retailers to sell Steam keys. We can buy these games on discount even after the Steam sales are over and they can be added to your Steam account and they work exactly the same as any other Steam game. However, this isn't an option on the App Store. For the majority of the time, the price you you see is probably the price you're gonna to have to pay and opportunities for discounts are few and far between. And this is a shame because Mac App Store versions of games are often worse than the Windows counterparts. For example, Resident Evil Village on Mac still lacks the Winter's Expansion DLC, which is meant to be coming out in the very near future. However, if you're a Windows user, then you could buy this game on Steam and play the DLC right now. In another example, the game Borderlands 2 has an App Store version and a Steam version. And unfortunately, they do not share the same multiplayer system, the App Store version uses Game Center, which virtually nobody else uses. So if you wanted to play with your Steam friends, which the majority of the player base are on, then if you've bought the Mac App Store version, you've basically wasted your money. And this brings us to the topic of refunds. So the Steam refund system is an absolute godsend. As long as you play a game for under two hours and then you request a refund within 14 days of purchase, all you have to do is submit a ticket and your refund will be processed within a few hours. The App Store refund process is a lot more opaque. I can't actually find any concrete details of how long you have to request a refund. And the turnaround window is 48 hours. From what I've read, lots of people have been denied refunds. So it really gives me less confidence in making big purchases on the Mac App Store, especially as the games are often more expensive and have fewer features. And lastly, buying from Steam often means getting the Windows version of the game as well as the Mac version and also possibly a Linux version too. This means that if you are ever to buy a Windows computer or even something like a Steam Deck, then you could potentially get that game on multiple platforms. Whereas if you buy a game on the Mac App Store, then you're only ever going to be able to play that game on Mac hardware. And this brings us to the topic of why the Mac version of Resident Evil Village wasn't released on Steam. After all, plenty of AAA games, for example Shadow of the Tomb Raider, released on the Mac App Store, but they also had a Steam release which was available for Windows, Mac and Linux too. So the reason Resident Evil Mac version is exclusive to the Mac App Store probably has to do with money. So we can only really speculate, but it does look like Apple has paid Capcom to release a Mac port of the game. And it's very likely that Apple played a big part of the development of the Mac port, especially as this is the very first game to make use of the new graphics API Metal 3. And it's also the first to implement Metal FX upscaling. So it's very likely that there's some kind of exclusivity in their contract, which required that the Mac port would only be released on the Mac App Store. If Capcom were to say, into 
integrate the Mac port into their existing Steam release, then many users would A, already have the Windows version of the game and therefore not spend any extra money on the Mac port, and B, Apple wouldn't be able to take a cut of those Steam sales. What they really want is people to purchase it on the App Store so that they can receive their cut and make a return on whatever investment they made. So the final question is, should you be buying games like Resident Evil Village on the App Store, especially as there are so many disadvantages compared to Steam? So firstly, it looks like the next batch of AAA games backed by Apple are going to be released on the App Store. These include the highly anticipated Grid Legends and also No Man's Sky. However, secondly, if you want to see any more of these types of AAA games and ports, then I'm afraid that money talks. If you want to see more of these types of games on the Mac platform, then you're going to have to buy them. If publishers like Capcom see strong sales of Resident Evil Village on the Mac App Store, then it increases the possibility of other Capcom games being released on Mac as well. There are plenty of other Capcom games which use the same game engine, for example, the remake of Resident Evil 4, or even a game like Street Fighter 6 or or Monster Hunter Rise. And so buying these existing games is going to prove to the publishers that the Mac is a viable gaming platform. And so if you want to do your part then you should support Mac gaming and buy some of these games. Anyway let me know what you think about this video. Do you agree with my assessment? Will you buy games like Resident Evil Village and No Man's Sky on the Mac App Store? Please leave a comment with your thoughts. Anyway I hope you found this video interesting. If you did please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.